Although in the middle of the cornfield, Rockford Community Church has made a concerted effort to become a city church. And here's what I mean by being a city church. Our intentionality of our outreach program is geared toward having a city impact. From the start of our mission, it's our goal is to be a multi-ethnic community. A multi-ethnic community that loves God, loves people, make peace and plant churches, which we, which we continue to work on being. We continue to grow numerically. And this past summer, we were able to send 20 children to camp, not because of any ability of our financial backlog, but because of the generosity of people from the district. Our peacemaking effort in the city is in a city mad by violence can be felt by the city and the people around us. Our desire is to be a true followers of Jesus, guided by the scripture that says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be sons and daughters of God. Matthew 5, 9, which is a paraphrase from me. From the start, we wanted to be a church that planned other churches. Yes, we are absolutely doing that. In December 2016, we sent out one of our best to Mid-Atlantic District, to be specific, Dundalk, Maryland, where the church is currently, as of today, is averaging about 45 in worship on Sunday morning and about 20 plus on midweek events. Okay, before we get carried away, let me give you some snippet of our weekly activities in the community of our calling. And I call it the community of our calling because Rockford is home to us. We continue to work with the Rockford Police Department and the Sheriff Department as a bridge builder with communities that have been impacted by high poverty rate and the years of race relations and mistrust. Through our mobile tech and mobile art lab, which has become a job training and skill empowerment for the community, we have successfully done some cool recordings uh, of songs in the, on our trailer. We are in the final phase of the post-production of our recorded uh, music off of the trailer. We were privileged to serve Rockford School District this past summer with ESL for the newly arrived refugee. We had about 80 refugees that are from 10 different nationalities uh, that have come and the desire of the Rockford School District is that they entrust us, our mobile uh, tech and the mobile lab outreaches with the responsibility, with an ability to help these kids navigate the Rockford School system. And the story that really stand out for me is the story of John, which is, that's not the real name, that's a change name. John who came from Yemen, he and his father had been in a refugee camp for over two years and have been separated with his mom from his mom and sisters who are still in Yemen. He speaks with his mom daily. And some days during their call, he could literally hear sounds of bombs being dropped. And his heart just sinks to know that his siblings are caught up in the other side of this world. He said this and I quote, I am grateful for the U.S. for bringing me here and giving me a second chance on life. I pray that this war will end soon." End quote. Stories of people like John gives me every reason to continue to do the work of non-violence and conflict transformation. And as brethren, isn't that who we are? Touching people where it hurts and bringing relief and giving hope to the hopeless and giving just a cup of water to those that are thirsty. Some of our goal in using the mobile tech lab is giving kids the opportunity that otherwise they may never afford. We offered our first coding boot camp which is valued at $10,000 per participant and we have 10 kids that have been part of this uh, boot camp. Let's hear what the trainer has to say about this program during a 23 News interview of the boot camp. The police pair up with a local tech lab to teach kids how to code. The mobile tech lab is geared towards educating kids with skills and computer coding skills with a boot camp style curriculum. It's aimed at teaching kids from middle school to high school age. Organizers say coding is an easy subject to transition into for kids at least in this generation. They already know a lot about technology, they're easy to work with, um, and at the same time, this gives them a really valuable skill set that's going to be incredibly important in the future. Uh, hopefully, these kids are going to go off to college and be my competition a few years from now. The boot camp taught kids how to build a website from start to finish in just an hour. Now that you have heard all this, can you believe it that every one of you 
Yes, I say every one of you and every one of us that work in this mobile tech lab does it for free. None of us get paid to do the work. It is run by a bunch of volunteers. We are a church with a vision to change the community. And I want to invite you, how much is your church involved in changing your community? And I want to extend my gratitude to everyone in the district that have been in prayers, that have supported us uh, financially, that have helped, uh, held us before your congregation to pray for the work of conflict transformation that we are doing in the city of Rockford. And I know it might sound like a cliche, but I just want to say thank you for availing your shoulders that we all can stand on. We are in this together. God bless you.